If you are curious about what is all this essential oil stuff about, I've heard about essential oils before, but I'm not quite sure like what they really are, why they're effective, and man, how they can even support me in their health solution, in my health issues or concerns. Well, this podcast is for you. So this podcast is a recording of uh, an essential oils introduction webinar I did back in November of last year. And I've done tons of intros since, but what I really love about this one is that it's actually connected to an email series. And also I'll be posting on social this email series this week, breaking down some very important questions that people ask when it, when it comes to really learning the basics of oils. What are oils? How do they work? How are they effective? How do I know which ones to use? How do I know which brand to use? How do I get oils of my own? What will I need to, how will I know what to do once I get them? All of that. And so really I address those things in this webinar and in that series. So if you're more of an email type of person, and you would rather that series delivered to you via email, make sure you sign up for the uh, webinar replay and series in the show notes. But also, if you're on social media, I will be posting this particular week on Instagram, in my Facebook group, on my Facebook page, just little snippets of answering each of those important questions. But that's not it. I'm really about you getting started with essential oils, right? That's the whole point of really sharing all of these basic facts and information with you because I truly believe that essential oils are part of the natural solutions that we need to really transform our health in a really powerful way in this lifetime. So there are two ways that you can get started. If you're the type of person that needs to like sample things before you go ahead and purchase them, then I am actually going to be um, sending out some samples this summer. I will be on maternity leave, but in between things, um, if you if you request a sample, you've never tried doTERRA essential oils before and you really want to get started and you're in the US, I will send you a sample when I have a free moment. But if you're the, like, Brianna, I just need education and then I'm ready to dive in because... You've shared a lot. I just really want these in my home in like three to five days. Then I really suggest the Healthy Start Kit from doTERRA. It is the one of the best kits that you can use, the top 10 essential oils that you're going to use over and over and over and can do so many different things. All right. We'll go through that here in this podcast, those particular oils. And just know that this this podcast was recorded at a particular time. So there were special promos that I was mentioning there. But for now, just just listen to the content, listen to the information. Then, then if you want to get started, either request a sample or go ahead and check out that Healthy Start Kit. Because let me tell you, for 150 bucks, you're going to get 10 amazing oils and a diffuser. And it's just amazing. All right. And then, of course, I will be there to support you after I am a wellness advocate and a leader and a mentor. So I really support my customers in using oils in their everyday life. OK, so enjoy the podcast episode. If you want this series delivered to you in bite sized chunks, either check me out on social or sign up for the email portion. And then, yeah, if you're interested in experimenting with doTERRA essential oils, either request that sample or check out that Healthy Start Kit. All right. Enjoy. And I'll talk to you soon. You're listening to the Made Well Women podcast, and I am Brianna Wilkerson, your host. You know, for over half my life, I really had to pay attention to my relationship with food, um, with my body and with myself. As a young girl, I just started to find my worth in my weight and my work. And I really started to define my beauty, my body, and my value in all of those things. And that led to a very not healthy way of eating, not healthy way of taking care of myself. But when I started to realize that my worth was not in my weight and that healthy living was, did not have to be so depriving, but it could actually be joyful, that's when I found freedom and breakthrough. And it has been my mission ever since to help women do the same. So Made Well Women is about helping other women find peace with food, create healthy habits, and use essential oils confidently. So you're going to find solo episodes, you're going to find guest interviews from time to time, and really you're just going to find a space where I can talk to you from heart to heart, woman to woman, to really support you in creating uh, your version of food freedom, finding healthy habits that support you in your life, and using essential oils to support you along the way. And as I mentioned, I'm an essential oils lover and I'm an advocate with doTERRA, and I really want to help more and more women in homes use essential oils for your health and for women's health, their family and their homes. So I'm so glad you're here and so glad to support you. 
Before you go and listen to the episode, I want you to do a couple things. One, make sure you join the Madewell Women's Health Community. This is a space where you can unpack these episodes and get support on your journey, as well as follow me on Instagram because I share all about behind the scenes of my own life there as well. All right, enjoy the episode and I can't wait to get to know you more and support you. All right, everyone, welcome. Welcome to Essential Oils 101, just an introduction to essential oils. I'm excited to just guide you guys through a little bit about the basics of essential oils. I do a lot of classes. I've been teaching and using oils for the last nearly six years. And so there's a lot to learn, but we want to start with the basics. I think a lot of people that I meet um, can sometimes just be very overwhelmed with the amount of options. So I think it's always best to learn about which oils can do what and just start with a few and go from there, but also know about which oils can really specifically support you in the areas you're needing support the most right now, okay? If you don't know me, my name is Brianna. Um, I don't have an eight, eight month old. I forgot to change that. I have a 17 month old, um, but I am a holistic health coach. I primarily do uh, coaching for women in really helping them find peace with food with their relationship with their bodies and um, develop healthy habits. That's more than just about their weight, but I'm also an essential oils advocate with doTERRA essential oils and have been again, using them and sharing and teaching other women to use them and also who want to share about them for the last nearly six years. I love paleo brownies with coconut milk ice cream. I love the old show Matlock. My grandparents used to watch that all the time. And my favorite oil is at the moment is adaptive, which we'll actually talk about, um, which is kind of one that helps with the mind and the mood. So, you know, why essential oils? Why even consider this conversation? I don't know about you, but I was introduced to essential oils very early on in my life. I mean, it's something that I heard about that could help with sleep or stress, right? But essential oils can do so much more than that. And actually, how do they actually help with those things is very interesting to learn. But you know, when, we when we're trying to take care of our health, I think essential oils primarily help us with our health overall. Many of us have um, gone through the modern approach, which really is designed to address symptoms. Like you feel something, you get something for it. But often those things really um, just address the symptoms and they're kind of made with that, what we call isolated synthetic agents. There's often a lot of known side effects. Whenever you see, hear about a particular medication, they will now more than ever, actually, I feel like they actually share about the side effects more. But there's tons of trillions of dollars spent on healthcare. And we're just asking stuff, are we any healthier? And that's because we've been trying to do more of a reactive approach. And I actually think a, a more proactive approach is better, but also really looking at more natural approaches that help our body get to the core of what is really going on. And most people would call this more of a functional health approach that um, you know really looks at our body's needs and root causes and can be used from natural sources such as plants and can help with physical, emotional, and mental health. And because it's natural, there aren't a whole, basically any side effects. And that's kind of where essential oils come in. You know, um, very early on, um, Michelle's one of my friends in the beginning um, of me just sharing about oil. She was just even said like, just like me, she was skeptical, but she really applied one drop to her temples and one to the back of her neck in 30 minutes when she struggled with a headache. And now she literally carries peppermint oil everywhere and gives it to friends. So I wanna hear from you though, what brought you to, if you're on live, what brought you to this class today? What are you hoping to learn? And what is your experience with essential oils? Feel free to let me know in the chat. I'll give you a couple seconds to write that. And even if you're watching the replay later, feel free to um, either share this or also write it down or just take a moment to reflect because I always think it's very good when we're doing anything to know what is our, our intention with it. All right, I'll let you guys see that and I will move on. So I'll tell you a little bit about my story. So um, I started health coaching and actually essential oils around the same time, unintentionally. Um, I actually, uh, at, the mo at the time where I was started health coaching, I also had a, um, a little bit of an injury in my left wrist, uh, kind of just tendonitis over usage. 
And I just didn't listen to it. So guess what? It flared up and our bodies are great because it's saying like there's something's going on. I'm going to protect you. But it took a while for it to get better. And so I got introduced to deep blue rub, which actually has wintergreen in it, which has a chemical constituent called methyl salicylic acid, um, which is actually what's found in a lot of synthetic pain medication. But because it's this natural source, using it in this beautiful combination of different oils and rub just really helps soothe the pain in a way that nothing had. I still had to do physio, still needed time, but it was from that moment that I knew I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need to learn more about this. I also use On Guard, which we'll talk about all, both of these. Um, it's a protective immunity, immune system blend to help boost your immune system. And, you know, and I was working a full-time job as a public accountant auditor, as well as trying to do health coaching. And I was just working a lot. So my immune system was kind of down. It wasn't resting as much. And so those two oils really um, helped me. And I just found hope again, because I just feel like I, I struggled so long with that tendonitis issue, but eventually it got a lot better. Roxanne says she's a doTERRA advocate and wants to learn more. Connie says, I've never used essential oils, but I've been hearing more about it from others lately as I look into gut health and healthier habits. So great. Yeah, great. Great to have you guys here. So here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about like the basics of what, why, and how. We're going to talk about the top essential oils that I love and I think most people should have in their home. A few of my favorites and then how to get started in the special offers that doTERRA is offering right now. So some basics of essential oils. So um, they're, they're not, uh, well, different essential oil companies have different purity codes and standards, but ideally all essential oils should just be pure extracts from plants. Um, and they come from the roots, the barts, the stems, the leaves, um, on different parts of different plants where they're the plant's natural health defense mechanism. And so when we can use it in that way, it can support us. And they're more concentrated than the herb or plant itself because you're basically, if you were to take a microscopic level of that peppermint, you would see little oil sacs. And essential oil companies have just extracted the oil sacs to allow a more, um, more potent delivery in a safe way, of course, but also so you can use less of it. One drop of peppermint is equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea in regards to potency, at least doTERRA's, right? So it's very, very effective. Um, and it addresses the problem versus the symptoms. And we'll talk about why. And it's affordable, uh, you know, per drop. A lot of people may see the bottles and they'll be like, oh, that's so expensive, but you really only need to use one or two drops per usage. So it really lasts and it's, it's affordable at home care right away. Like I, you know, will always, especially because considering my background in health coaching, I will always consider taking care of myself first at home and then going to see a medical professional if that doesn't work. And most of the time, essential oils and some other health um, routines really work, okay? They're effective again, because they are um, work at the cellular level. And so essential oils, if I, by nature oils, it's a lipid fat and a lot of cells, um, made up of lipids so it can it can pass through the what we call the blood brain barrier and diffuse into the cell and actually get to the core because a lot of threats a lot of illnesses actually start can start within our cells so if essential oils can directly address that it's really helping us get to the core of it there are three different ways that you can use um, at least doTERRA most of doTERRA's essential oils and that is aromatically topically and internally and aromatically basically smelling it right diffusing it um, you can diffuse it. You can just hold the bottle. Um, you could put it on your skin and smell it. And topically, you apply to different areas, targeted areas, bottom of your feet, back of your spine, depending on the needs. And internally, um, when it's a CPTG oil or certified pure therapeutic grade, you can put it on the bottom of your tongue and your water or in what we call an empty capsule to swallow. Peppermint is a great one that can actually be used in all three ways. You can cool your body with it, help stay alert, relieve head tension, promote feelings of clear breathing and relieve stomach upset when ingested. Deep blue is a it's actually best used topically. Um, you can obviously smell it aromatically. It's not recommended for internal usage. Um, and that's great for pre post workout. If you have any aches and pains um, or just kind of joint issues like this is just helps provide a lot of relief. And there's a bunch of different deep blue products. Even there's the oil, there's the rub, there's the roller stick now, and there's a roll on. On Guard comes with a bunch of other products around what we call the On Guard family. But again, it serves as a powerful immune system boost, diffuse to clean the air, take internally. You can use that in all three ways as well. 
So why doTERRA? There's many, many other essential oil companies out there, and I'm not here to say which one you should choose, but I chose doTERRA for a variety of reasons. One, because of how the plants are grown. They're grown in their natural habitat, so doTERRA sources them from 40, 50 countries around the world um, where the people there know how to grow it best. Um, they're naturally good farmers in that. But they also do what we call co-impact sourcing. So doTERRA is not just interested in getting oils from them. They're also interested in helping um, those communities. And so their level of corporate social responsibility far outweighs anything I've seen from any other company. But they're also had a high standard of purity. And they go through a bunch of different tests, six, seven, eight different tests to make sure that the oil is what it should be and that it's free from contaminants, it's pure. Nothing else but the oil is in there. Even it's not watered down, none of that, but also that it has the chemistry that that particular oil should have. So for example, if you've heard of lemongrass oil, there's another one called Melissa. Melissa is um, kind of a higher concentrated. It's a little bit more, it's way more expensive than lemongrass. And a lot of people will pass off um, lemongrass for Melissa and charge double the, like more than triple the rate. But as Jotera is making sure that the chemical chemistry is what it should be and Melissa is what it is and lemongrass is what it is when they're getting sold the oils. But it's also a company of a lot of um, compassion. Again, they have the Healing Hands Foundation that fights a lot of different injustices around the world. Um, and so it's a really great company. I also loved it because as a health coach, they believe in, um, I think they've switched this up a little bit, but basically like eating right, exercise, rest and manage stress, reduce toxic load are four of my main pillars I teach about when I talk about healthy habits. Um, but they have, they basically have created products and oils to really fit in those areas. And now even they've added a household one, basically like cleaning and they've added a lot of different cleaning products as well. Another friend, happy customer, she chose to use essential oils a while, probably a little bit around the same time I started um, and just was using them for digestive sleep issues and improvement and just saw a great, great um, change in a small amount of time. So I would love to hear from you as before we get in, into actually talking about some particular essential oils, what are your top health priorities? And one way that I actually ask people to reflect on this is like, what do you wanna feel more of? And what do you want to feel less of? Like, do you want to feel more energy? Do you want to feel less groggy, less pain, less, um, uh, yeah, just different things. Do you want to feel like have better skin? Like, what do you want in regards to your health and your body right now? What do you want to feel more or less of? Drop it in the chat. Um, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to think about, or a minute or two to think about that. And then drop it in the chat. Maybe 30 more seconds. More energy and less tension. Great. Those are great ones. So as we go through talking about some of these oils, if I just look at, um, maybe think through, well, which one did she say that could help with this? Because that's a great place to start. And just know too, like, this is a small selection of oils that I'm talking about. So even if there's not one that specifically like you're like, oh, can that really do it? You can always have a conversation to figure out which ones are great to start with. And there's also a lot of different products as well. All right. So here are some like essential oils that I always have around. Like when I run out of these ones, I, I reorder them really quickly because they can be used for multiple things. And so let's go through each one of those. So we all know lavender, right? But lavender can be used for a lot more things than people think. Yes, it's great for calming properties, but it's also great for skin irritations, 
for a, I mean, I'm talking about like you put a burn, you have, you have a burn, serious, like, like one degree, two degree, whatever, like really great for any skin health issues, muscle tension, um, and just overall calming of your body. It's great to use with um, lemon and peppermint for like different respiratory issues. Um, and so you can use this in multiple ways. This is one that you can use um, topically, aromatically, and internally. You can put it on your linens. You can add it to bath water. You can use it in cooking. You can put it at the bottom of your feet. You can use it when you've been out in the sun for a long time and want to cool down. You can use it again if you have different skin irritations. So this is a very multi-purpose oil that's way great. Just not, it's way better not just to calm your body and your mind, but to calm, well, not just to calm your mind or your emotions, but your body as well. Lemon is a powerful oil. Well, um, its chemical constituent is um, high limonene content. And there's doTERRA is about hmm, seven, eight, nine, a lot of maybe more than that, um, different uh, citrus oils, which all have a high limonene content. And because of that, it's very cleansing in nature. And so um, this is a great one to use, you know, in your water when you're trying to get grease off. I mean, I've used this on whiteboards when I've left on um, marker too long. Uh, furniture polish, but also cleaning, cleaning your countertops. I've used this with um, tea tree oil to do my laundry, like my gym clothes, right? So any, any of the citrus oils are really great, but this one in particular, because of it, it has a really high limonene content, right? So this is a great one. Um, if you're looking for cleansing and so forth, peppermint is a great one. You know, you're just talking about tension and energy. This is a really great one. Peppermint has a high, um, what we call menthol, um, component, um, chemical constituent, which is a very cooling in nature. And so that's why it can like, um, kind of not, it doesn't numb, but like kind of cool down those areas of tension. Um, also kind of boost, um, your energy because it's a very invigorating oil. It's very great to combine with something like say wild orange or a citrus oil. So I actually love to use wild orange, citrus, um, peppermint and frankincense. Good for a uh, midday pick me up. Great for stomach upset. Great to cool, like, you know, cool off when overheated, especially if you're in the sun and great for actually shampoo or conditioner and stimulating hair growth and mas um, massage. Tea tree or melaleuca um, actually is grown in, they source this one from Australia. They source um, lavender from Bulgaria and I believe peppermint from Washington state. Um, and the beautiful part about tea tree is that how, you know, in an Australian very hot climate, tea tree grows and actually it helps the, the oil helps the trees from getting like mildewed and stuff like that, right? It has a high um, antiseptic component, antiviral. And so it's really also, also really great for respiratory and skin health. So different skin irritations, different hair irritations, you know, lice, dandruff, it can be a really great tool for that. Um, but lavender tea tree and frankincense also is really great for skin irritations together. Great after shaving, great um, if you have a little, you know, um, bug bite, it's great to stop the itching. And again, it's really great for cleaning as well. Um, so lemon, lavender, and tea tree, and even peppermint. Those are some of my favorite oils. Frankincense is like known as the king of oils. It is powerful for your cellular health. And guess what, at the end of the day, we're made up of our cells and often where chronic illness happens, it's, it happens within our cells. And so using frankincense can actually help repair that can help to also boost that cellular health. And so it's also great for calming, um, calming your mind, prayer meditation. You can take it internally and on your skin to help um, your skin health, but also internal cells um, balance, put it on your body, your feet, and um, just again, really help with that overall health. And it's, it smells lovely to me. Um, it is one of the more expensive oils. So that's why I love to get it in a kit, but it's, it's one that will last you a while. Cause you really, again, only need to use one drop at a time. Oregano. I remember when I first got oregano in my first kit, I was like, what is oregano doing in this kit? But it is a powerful agent. It's a powerful agent for purifying an antioxidant and immune system health. And so whenever, you know, you're struggling with, um, particularly with you know, you feel like cold-like symptoms or that sort of stuff comes on, oregano can be really helpful. Also can be great for cleaning and cooking. Um, if you, someone has like athlete's foot or like some sort of fungus or something, like it's really great for that. And so this is a great one that you're not necessarily going to use all the time, but you want to have on hand. Copaiba. So many people are talking about CBD, right? And this is a, um, it's different because it comes from a different thing. 
but it had it almost is similar in the sense that it can really help with the same things such as soothing anxious feelings supporting your overall health your cardiovascular immune digestive and respiratory system it's a powerful antioxidant um, helps your nervous system helps your skin health and so you can use this one in multiple ways there's soft gels there's the oil and there's also the roller um, but I mean, just getting the oil is one way, like, like how it is like here pictured, you can use it in multiple ways. And so you can use it in diffuser at night. It's great for calming. So great to diffuse at night for sleep. Um, again, antioxidant health, um, skin health. And so it's just like frankincense, you want to have this one around. Breathe is a very popular blend. It's known as the respiratory blend and it's does what it says. It helps with promotes clear breathing and respiratory health. It is a blend. So we've been talking about single oils to this point, but it's a blend of laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, lemon, ravensar, and cardamom. All oils that singular, singular can really help with respiratory health, but again, different chemical makeup for each one, but when blended together, the chair is really created oil that has a synergy and they, those oils work well together. So a lot of people may use this before exercise to help promote clear breathing, even during, if you do stuff like yoga, where you're inhaling a lot. Um, Outdoor when the seasons change and the weather's change like now, or even at night, I like to combine it with like an oil like serenity or lavender to help restful night sleep. Um, and I've had countless people, especially with young kids who have used this just, and it's just helped the kids, you know, the stuffiness at night. On guard is also again known as a protective blend and it's a blend that's made of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, um, lemon is in there as well. I think I forgot that one. And it's a powerful oil to just boost your immune system. So you want to bet definitely when this pandemic hit, it was one of the most popular oils and was being sold out very quickly. And again, there's tons of on guard products. There's mouthwash, there's toothpaste, there's wipes, there's spray, there's cleaning stuff. Um, obviously, the oil, you can do a lot of things with it. So you could even start with the do it yourself approach, but very great for like just this season that we're in and in general to be proactive, not just when you're feeling kind of down, your body's feeling run down, but throughout the multiple times a day if you can. Deep Blue, again, is the soothing blend. And there's also different products with this, but it is a blend that is, again, all of those single oils there are designed together to help with sore muscles, joints, aches, and pains. And so if you are someone who has chronic um, pain in some way, this can really help. Um, if you work out or you just have uh, muscle tension from time to time, wrist or joint tension, this is a really great oil um, to use regularly. And again, the rub is something that's a little bit more popular, I think, because it has the cooling effect because it has you come, it has eucalyptus in it and it's um, a kind of a, has a cooling kind of agent in it. Oops. Oh, okay. Digest Zen, a blend to help with just what it's talking about. So sweet Zen digestion, help with bloating, gas, indigestion, and a lot of digestive intestinal tract issues. So you can apply this directly on to your stomach. Um, you could take a drop or two in your tea or water, or again, use it in a capsule. And I love having this one, especially on the holiday time where, you know, you're just exposed to different foods you don't normally eat, or you're, you know, just eating a little bit more. So it's just great to have your digestive health going. And the Tara has a bunch of different products like enzymes and probiotics and stuff to help with this, but this oil is also very powerful to use. And they also come in capsules, I believe. And then adaptive. Adaptive is, um, it's not the digestion blend, it's the calming blend. It helps boost mood, soothe and uplift, um, and also effect, complements effective work and study. So this is all about mind and mood. Um, men mental overwhelm, emotional overwhelm, this is a really powerful oil to help them. doTERRA has tons of emotional aromatherapy blends in particular, but this one is very popular and they have a bunch of different wellness programs, even around some of the ones that I mentioned, um, that once you already, once you have an account, once you've got a couple things, you can do those wellness programs and the mind and mood wellness program is made off of adaptive products. There's a respiratory wellness program made off of the breathe products and the immunity, like you can go on and on. So there's a lot of ways to continue to add these into your life. But, um, I say always kind of get started with an oil. A couple of my favorites. I have a lot. But Clary Calm is the women's monthly blend to help with women's, not just you might be as past the stage of your women, um, your monthly flow or cycle, but um, it really helps because of the Clary Sage oil in it, really helping with that, um, monitor those particular female reproductive hormones. And so it's really great oil to just rub on um, pre cycle. I mean, you're always on your cycle, but like pre period, during period, all that sort of stuff. 
Serenity is a restful blend. It's a blend of like chamomile, all the woods, the lavenders, the sweets, and um, just brought all together to help like, give you rest at night. Balance is called the grounding blend. This one is, can be used all throughout the day. You just need to feel grounded. Um, you know, if you're feeling just all over the place in your body and your mind, it can center you. And then Aroma Touch is the massage blend. I often use this one in baths at night, um, but also when I get a massage, um, or even if I ask my husband to like, you know, massage certain places in my body that are tense, it's a beautiful blend. It has basil in it too, to help relieve that tension. Um, and doTERRA, um, one of the kits that I'll talk about, it's not just an oils company, I would say it's a wellness company. And so they have tons of other products that we don't have time to go through all right now, but that help with overall wellness. And one of those is your lifelong vitality pack, what people would call the LLV. It's actually the number one sold product. And I was not a regular vitamin or supplement person until I started taking these. It's very complete, helps with multiple things. You know, you need your omega fatty acids, you need your cell, your health to be protected, and you need your vitamin, multivitamin. And so this combination can really just help with all those things, stress management, immune function, antioxidant, DNA protection, more energy, less discomfort. And I, I've had a lot of people that have told me that they have had more energy and focus and relief when taking these. So that is something that you can consider um, down the line, but also one of the kits that I'm going to mention actually has this in it. Um, you know, Heather was start um, joined me really early on in my um, sharing journey, and she also had wrist pain, had stress management issues, and wanted to replace her harmful and household products and started using oils and even started sharing about them with others. So we covered maybe 12, 13, 14 different products, but Tell me which one or two that sounded like something that could really suit you for where you're at. And if you can't think of any, that's okay. We can always have a conversation later. Um, I really love talking with people one-on-one -on -one to just help them figure out where's the best place for them to get started. Because the worst thing you can do is just buy stuff and not use them because you don't know how or because it doesn't actually suit your needs. So drop in the chat if there was a particular oil or something that stood out to you that could help meet your goals and needs. Yeah, I think peppermint and frankincense, Connie, could be really great for you. I actually, I didn't talk about wild orange, but I also think wild orange would be great. It's a good combination together. But yeah, peppermint, frankincense, for sure. So good. Well, um, I think the best way to get started is to get your own wholesale account. If you're like, I want to get started. And the reason, let me tell you why. You don't have to purchase more than once if you want <laughs> You can purchase whenever you want, but the beauty of just getting, it's like getting a Costco or wholesale membership. You get it cheap, you get things cheaper. You get it 25% off. You can always buy retail, but I'm telling you, it's going to be more expensive that way. But also when you choose to kind of like what we would call sign up under me or like um, join my team and just, you know, that could mean you just want to use the oils. You don't have to go do anything with them um, besides use them. I also provide a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I get customers asking me all the time about different questions, how to use things how to log into their stuff. Um, I have a private Facebook group just for my customers where I share um, continuing education stuff, updates on different things. Um, I do have continuing education classes. There's an archive of training and resources. I've done a lot of classes. I've done at least one every month, if not more for the last five to six years. So there's a lot in the archive, right? I always add them up there. And you know, a lot of people also decide after maybe using them that they just want to share them with others because they're really blessed by them. And I also provide mentorship with that. So the best way is to get your own wholesale account and you can always get your wholesale account. I think it's like 35 US, maybe 42 state Canadian for the year. And then you add whichever oil you want and you automatically get at wholesale, you're part of it, everything like that. But some people choose to start with the kit and these are six of the different starter kits. I think they have kind of different names now, but um, one of them, I know healthy essentials. I think that's back to home essentials. They keep switching the name on me, but I mean, there's different prices for all of these, but, and they have, again, you can see some has some oil, some has the healthy, like healthy habits kit has a lifelong vitality pack, healthy home kit has a lot of the on guard products. So it's just about where you want to get started, honestly. And where, you know, um, you can always, I, I can send you the links and you can see what's in each of these. 
Um, and also you're where, where, you know, price range too, where, you know, I mean, obviously the healthy start kit and aroma essentials kit is the, um, is the cheapest, um, comes with 10 oils on each different oils and each comes with a diffuser, different diffuser, but maybe you want to get started with products too. So those are just some options for you. And I think I'll send you guys links to all of these later, but four of the starter kits are actually on sale this month. So Terry does this about once or twice a year where they, um, give a huge discount 20% on their enrollment kit. So the home essentials, these are the current prices at the 20% off. So 199 for 10, um, uh, what we call, sorry, 15 milliliter bottles. They're either, um, and two of the other ones, the ones that were the cheapest come with five milliliters. That's about 90 to hundred drops, 50 milliliters, about 250. And so you just get more drops in a particular bottle. Um, so the Home Essentials Natural Solutions Cura Collection, um, and the Cura Collection is all about like, basically let's redo your medicine, medicine cabinet with doTERRA natural products. Um, and then a Healthy Habits Kit, all about like using those oils and products to create healthy habits. So all those four are 20% off this month of November if you choose to get them. But there are other kits, you can do your own, make your own kit basically through the wholesale account option. But when you purchase a kit, you automatically get a wholesale um, account so that any other purchase afterwards is 25% off. And going forward, this is what most um, I have did from the very beginning and what a lot of my customers do. They decide, okay, I wanna get started with a couple, but I really want, I'm using them, so I need to replace them, or I wanna get new ones every month at an affordable rate. And so they do the loyalty rewards program, which is what I would call your monthly wellness box, where, you can customize what's in it each month and you can determine how much you want to order each month. But if you even order $1, I mean, most things are at least $5, you're going to automatically get 10% point up, 10% back to use for a future purchase. And you're also going to get your shipping back. So you're really kind of going to get like five to $10 back each time. Now, if you order a certain amount over a certain time, you go up in percentage. So if you order $50, what we call point value, over time, like you'll go up. So now I'm at 30%. So that means for every say hundred points that I buy, I get 30 back plus shipping, which is like five bucks. So that's 35, which is the cost of like a blend, like Serenity or On Guard, right? So I use, at the end of the year, I either use my points to buy Christmas gifts or I replenish certain ones that I've been wanting or stuff I've been wanting to try. And so going forward, this is an option. You don't have to do this, but a lot of people do this, even if it's a, a one or two oils a month, just so they can get some points back. And actually it's a way for you to stay committed because if you're ordering, you're going to want to make sure you're using. And, you know, there are different ways. doTERRA has different paths. So you might just want to use the oils and that's what, you know, you want to change your life. You want to change you and your family's life. So when you, after you sign up, we will have um, what I call um, a lifestyle or wellness um, interview. We call the, we go through the live guide where I'm just gonna go through the different oils and products with you that you got, but also the ones that doTERRA has to, again, meet your needs specifically and incorporate them more into your life and talk about the how you can maximize your wholesale membership. And then maybe you wanna share them with others and maybe you just wanna like host an online class or host a, um, host a class in your house and or one-on-one -on -one talk with a friend and you just wanna give them some samples. And some people do that so they can just earn enough to pay for their own products. Um, some people do that just because they're naturally doing it anyway. They want to bless others. You're naturally changing the world because remember, whenever you purchase these oils that are sourced from other places, you are helping those people who live in that country and work um, and to produce that oil. And then maybe there are a lot of people in doTERRA who've made this their full-time job. They want to change their future. They want to build an income, make an impact. Um, and so there's different ways that you can experience your doTERRA experience, but I think the foundational one is to actually use the oils and allow them to change your health and your life. Um, this is Danielle, who's kind of went through all, all of the different paths with me. She um, just talked about, this is more so from a member, mentorship point of view, just like how I've been a um, source of knowledge and information for her um, and just really helped her in introducing her, her and her family to the power of oils and sharing them with others as well. So I think the next step is to either purchase your kit, 
Maybe you can look at the ones that are 20% off or create a custom order. Just get started, even if it's with two, one or two, because it's just going to help you get in the game. And then you'll obviously be introduced to the ways that, um, that I can support you and I'll always be there. Um, it's like you get a life, you get a lifelong membership basically until the way like my mentorship, not just going to tell you to buy oils and leave you hanging. So do you have any questions? Drop it in the chat box for me and I will be sending out the replay um, either tomorrow or this weekend with links to check out the different starter kits or even if you want to create your own kit. And even if you wanted to have hop on a call in the next week or two to chat through what could, you know, where you should get started. All that will be in the email, but any questions right now, drop it in the chat for me. How do you mix oils together? What proportion? That is a very great question. I've actually have a class for my customers on this called um, it's um, essential oil blending 101. It really just does depend. Um, I know that's a very like political answer, but um, it depends on what you're trying to um, use it for. Um, but depends on what you're trying to do, depends on what the oils are, because there's, um, so Tara has, um, on a lot of oils are like this, but what we call top, middle, and base note oils, meaning based on their chemistry, um, certain oils will um, hang around more, like linger more, and certain oils will kind of be evaporated a bit quicker. So it just depends on how, whether you're diffusing, whether you're making a blend to be gone topically, or even a blend to go internally. So it depends on the oil um, and depends on the oil, sorry, and what you're making it for. But that is something I do help um, help customers think through as well, um, whether it's when I'm sharing recipes or whether it's in that blending class. So that's a great question. So always just ask yourself, like, what is what are you what are you trying to do? Because um, that's going to be what will guide you. And then also considering if it's just the oils, but also if you're adding in a carrier of some sort. So if you are using it topically, you're gonna, there's gonna be a certain amount of ratio of, uh, maybe it's like one drop to every, I think it's two or four ounces of, no, I think it's two ounces. I have to look up that exact amount of, of carrier oil. And, and that's at least with doTERRA's because theirs is very potent, right? So it also depends on what the oil is, what you're trying to use it for, and then what else are you mixing with it? Um, and so that you can still have a very potent um, and very effective blend. That's a great question. Any other questions? Do you need the diffuser of breathing it in? No, you don't. Um, you can diff you can smell, there's diffuser jewelry. There's you just smelling it straight from the bottle. Um, diffusers are one of the best ways to use oils for multiple reasons because it goes into the air. Um, it helps purify the air, but also it's like a subtle way of you continuously being introduced to the oil and that you don't have to just sit there holding the bottle and smelling it. So you don't need it, but I think it's a great addition to, um, you know, you put in some drops in some water and you let it go throughout your day to still getting the benefits without having to think about it too much. Um, and not just you, but everyone else in your house. So you don't need the diffuser to breathe it in. It will be quite strong if you're just smelling it straight from the bottle, um, at least doTERRA's, but, you know, a couple whiffs go a long way with that too. So you don't, but it's, I think it's something definitely like an essential part of your essential oil routine to have a diffuser. It's a good question. Any other questions?
All right, well, um, there's no more questions. What I will do is I will wrap this up now. I will send over the email um, with the replay in the next few days with all the links to everything, but feel free to reach out to me even before that. You can email me at madewellkygmail.com, message me on Facebook or Instagram, and just really like, don't let this just be an informational class if you're listening to this. Like, let it be something where you're gonna take action again, even if it's one or two oils. Um, I just think it's a great place to start. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for joining, whether you've been on live or the replay. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this a replay of this webinar that I've done. And I really just hope that you're leaving a little bit more educated and really kind of just connecting the dots like okay there's a particular health concern that i have i think essential oils can be that natural solution for me all right and so make sure that you go and um uh if you want the series delivered to you because you're more written and visual in that way um sign up for the email series because you'll get you'll get the, the emails delivered to you um you can also check me out on social i've been posting um every day this week those particular uh qu answer to certain questions and then if you're ready to get it started and experiment, either request that sample. I am only shipping to the U.S. right now, so you have to have a U.S. shipping address. And or get started with that healthy start kit, which if wherever you are, doTERRA can ship to a lot of places. So um, go ahead and check that out. And please reach out on social uh, at Madewell Women on Instagram or Facebook if you have any questions. OK, hope you enjoyed the episode. Can't wait to support you in getting started with essential oils and doTERRA. And I'll see you on the next one. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Made Well Women podcast and enjoyed whether it was me and a solo episode or my guest thoughts on really how to help you live a healthy life and to be made well. But before you go, I want to make sure you know you're not alone. These podcasts are meant to be inspirational. They're meant to support you as you're going about your daily life. But where I have found the most transformation is one, one-on-one -on -one support, but also community. So make sure you join the Made Women well, made well women's health community where you can process this podcast and get support in whatever aspect of a made well journey you're on. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram because there you're going to also be able to share, see behind the scenes um, and just how I own, live my own made well woman life. All right. Can't wait to support you. Can't wait to get to know you more. And again, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Please rate, review it. Let me know how it was for you. And the more people that rate and review the podcast, the more women that could see it. All right. That's it. Bless you. And I'll see you on the next episode.